Morning, Lottie. Hello. So it's Good Friday. You're getting your buns out for us today. <laughs> well, not those buns. I'm going to do different buns. Um, because everyone gets their hot cross buns out, don't they? But my hot cross buns aren't brilliant, but my cinnamon buns are fabulous. So I'm going to get my cinnamon buns out today and I might even cover them in a bit of icing and some glitter if you're a good boy. Which sounds lovely. Yeah. But just before we get started, mm. well, we haven't even started and I notice you've already got stuff down your dress. Fair. Mm. That's my breakfast. Yeah. It's just what I do, isn't it? I enjoy my food so much that I throw it down my front as well. That was actually, I had a little bit of bacon this morning. That's a little bit of bacon. <laughs> Juice. So with white clothes, actually the best things for you to wear? No, never. I shouldn't wear, I shouldn't be allowed out in public, John, you know that. But this is, this is nothing. But um, I want to make these buns now, because I need to get them in the proving cupboard, which is actually the boiler cupboard. <laughs> I need to get them, um, get them on, because they're going to take about an hour and a half to prove before we start playing with them. And, um, <laughs> your face. Um, I've got this flower here. This is shipped to Mill Flower, which we got from the farm that delivered Ashton Park, that delivered a whole load of lovely stuff to us. It's the most beautiful bread flower. It's so chalky and lovely. It's so, so, I'm really impressed by this flower. Anyway, that's going in. 450 grams of that flour. And then we're going to add to that um, two teaspoons of sugar. Okay. So that's not plain flour, it's strong white flour, isn't it? Strong white flour, yeah, bread flour. So that's a couple of teaspoons of that go in. And then a teaspoon of yeast dried yeast that goes in and that gets stirred for as well okay like that and then we're going to add a couple of tablespoons of sunflower oil oh no that's a teaspoon oh no bear with okay we'll do one more day uh, uh, two, two tablespoons Give a go. Um, and then some hand hot water. So I'm just going to put my machine on. Now, if you don't have one of these, you can do it all by hand. I have a dodgy shoulder, as I mentioned the other day, which I have cortisone injected into daily, and that's because I spent years cooking, um, and so my arm's a bit knackered. I also have a sore wrist at the moment because I've been doing tapestry. <laughs> so I'm going to use my Kenwood, my trusty Kenwood, um, which is going to do the job for me and make it easier. So just turn it on and start the process, and then we're going to pour this hand hot water in. There's about 275 millilitres of that that's going in. Give or take. Sometimes I can't measure it exactly here, so I'm just going to put it in until I think the dough is a really nice, has a lovely feel to it. Oops, I'm trying to get it in and not. It's not too wet, but I need to have enough elasticity. sort of six seven minutes of um, kneading and so I'm going to just cover it in a bit of cling and pop it into my boiler. Right so that's been rising for about an hour and a half. Um, I actually popped it just on the floor in near the sun um, which is perfect for it and then we're going to knock it back so that's basically just doing this giving it a good punch and so all of the CO2 that's been produced by the yeast within here. If you knock it back, you evenly distribute. Then you give it another knead, again, just to help with the elasticity. Um, I'm going, but I'm gonna do that with this, as opposed to on the board. And then once that's done, I'm going to roll it out into a big square. Rolled it out, nice and thin. Okay, make sure your board is really well floured because you're going to be rolling this up, so you don't want to have any stickiness. So don't be afraid just to make sure it's all nicely floured. Now, the next thing you do, once you've rolled it down, it doesn't have to be the most perfect square or rectangle, especially if I've been doing it, um, is just to ladle on a lot of butter. Please don't worry about the amount of butter because it doesn't count because it's Easter. Okay, it's Good Friday, so you can have butter. Well, yes, you can. So what was that, about half a pack? No, no, yeah, about 100, 125 grams. So I'm just going to spread this all over. 
do it gently so you don't tear your dough okay so don't be too aggressive with it but get it spread all over like that now this is kind of the glue for what we're about to start attaching to um, the dough now remember the other day I uh, made a pineapple and rum and coconut cake well I'm kind of taking that theme a little bit further and I'm using some of the, well, the rest of the pineapple that was steeping in the rum syrup and has been for a couple of days. I've chopped that up, that's going on top, some cinnamon, some sugar, and also some toasted desiccated coconut. So first and foremost, we're going to put some sugar over the top. We'll just sprinkle that. There's, no, there's only a little bit of sugar in the dough so far, but, but don't forget the um, desiccated coconut. Easy for you to say. Desiccated coconut is um, a little sweet anyway, so don't overdo it. Okay. So that's cast sugar. That's cast sugar. Now this is desiccated coconut, which I toasted in the pan. Be careful, because with any nut, if you smell your nuts burning, love, it's too late. Okay, so keep an eye on your nuts while you're giving them a good toast. I'm not saying anything. Then some cinnamon, ground cinnamon, goes over the top. Okay. You can be fairly liberal with this actually. Okay. And then finally the chopped um, uh, pineapple. So that goes over the top as well. Now you're wondering probably where I'm going with this and how this is going to turn it into some buns. But it'll all be clear in about 10 seconds. I'm just going to rinse my hands quickly. Are you enjoying um, this recipe, John? Yeah? Yeah, I'm looking forward to the end result. Yeah. You like my buns, don't you, darling? I do. Um, so we're going to roll them. So how many is this going to make? Well, it depends how many I cut. Probably eight or 12. Okay. So we start to roll this end. Roll, roll, roll. Keep rolling, escapee. This is very similar, um, except that my other the dough I make for something else is a pull apart bread. It's quite similar to the recipe I do for that, which has cheese and ham and mustard in it, which I think I should do sometime because it's very cheap to make with self raising flour if you can get hold of it. I know flour is premium at the moment, it's the new loo roll, like eggs. Okay, so ideally, when you roll it, you don't really want to have that, but we've got it, so I'm not worried about it. So I'm going to divide this into two. Okay, and then divide it into two again. What? No, I'm going to do two. If I do 12, so it's a one, two, three, four, five, oh, five. I'm going to do eight. That's because I can't work out. Is that eight? Yes, eight. Baking tray. If you just lined with grease proof. And then what you do is you take your bun, the very big bunsies, and then you sort of squidge it down like that. Together. Along. Squidge that one down. Okay. And then I'm now going to put these in a warm place again for about 20 minutes until they've proved and they'll get bigger again and they'll stick together. And then I'm going to put them into the oven for about oh, 25, 30 minutes until they're all cooked. Wow, your buns look magnificent. I know. Now they're going in the oven. I just want to make some icing um, to go on top. And I thought what I could do is use the um, juice that was left over, the lovely syrup. So I'm going to add that to this icing sugar, not a lot. First of all, I'm just going to add a smidge of rum to it. A little bit more, I'm sacrificing my rum and cokes for this. So a little bit of... Well, and then do we, we smear that all over your buns? All over my buns. <laughs> yep. Liberally.
They look, um, they look wonderful. Do they? Mm. Do you like the look of them? That one's flopped over a bit. It happens. Um, but I'm just covering them with all this lovely icing. Because they're still warm out of the oven. It's the best time to do it. So how long were they in the oven for eventually? About 30 minutes at 190. Okay. So we just pull this icing all over the top. Make sure... Every little bun gets some. There we go. And then a final little flourish. Um, because it's Easter, because I can, I've got a little bit of edible glitter. So that's just going to go and give my buns a shine. Make them all nice and glittery. And there we have it. That's it done, my darling. So that's my Good Friday um, bun. There isn't a cross on it, but the thought is there. Just, just you just have to come back because I just want to tell you it really, really delicious. And the coconut in the middle is completely wonderful. And then you've got those little bits of candied pineapple. Really delicious buns. But one thing, I've been rushing it a little bit. So I think they were slightly underproved on the second proving. I should have perhaps given them 10 more minutes before I pop them in the oven. My fault, just wasn't hurry to eat them. And it's really worth it. Mm.